hello guys welcome back in this tutorial i am going to tell you how you can easily develop a product filter search functionality using php mysql and ajax guys you have seen in e-commerce websites uh, they are listing of a product and they are filtering filtering a project like uh, filter by category like you you can uh, see here like here the main page of our functionality is loading here you can see here is a category so you can filter result by category like here you can see here filtering like brand like selecting brand so like short by new waste means uh, short by uh, price high low new waste short by material short by size so all these things will be used to filter the size result. so here guys uh, i'm going to tell you how you can easily develop this interesting feature in your project so guys first we will see the database here so the database is here actually here we have a product underscore filter here you can see in my php my admin here and there is only one table actually products uh, here is the structure of the product table is here id primary auto increment SKU ID, category ID, category name, product name, image, price, brand, material, size, quantity, created date, update. Actually, all this detail is product detail. And we will store the records of product in this table and then display this record. And then we apply filtering here yeah, based on the product price, product brand, material price category so all these section we will cover in this tutorial to filter product listing so you have seen this is the our database product and filter and table product and we have a some product record here like you can see here the we have uh, 17 records here in this table you can see here the details is stored already in this table here so now we will code how we'll handle the functionality so here actually we have already created a project product filter search here we have added in our visual studio code so here you can see the structure of our project actually the main files are th there are three php files the main three php files are index.php load products.php and product.php so these are the three files that we will use to list the product and also handle the filtering functionality we have also a css directory like css in which we have a css file uh, in which we have a style of css that's we are using for styling the product listing also we have a images directory in which we have some sample images like that we are using in this example also we have inc directory in which we have a common files like container footer header.php so these are the common file that we are using and storing in inc directory also we have a js directory in which we have a javascript file script.js in which we are handling the all functionality like making ajax all javascript functionality making ajax request to load the records also load the records on changing like uh, for handling the fun uh, filtering like then uh, change the brand, change the category, uh, all functionalities we will handle using this JS. So this is our structure of our project details. So now you can see here the uh, project listing is loaded here from the index.php. Actually here index are already called, you, you, you already know this. So here the listing is on uh, index.php file. So here products are listing here. So now we'll see the first index.php file this is the index.php file you can see here here we are including you can see the file this is our index.php in which we are including product.php so this is the project actually this is the class product.php is a class actually in which we have implemented all the net tests related to handle the product listing filtering all the data we are fetching from the mysql database 
So here we have handled the method for this. So now we we will also see the product.php. So here we have a product.php class. This is the product.php class in which we have a actually we are making the connection to the database here. You can see that here we have declared the private variable like host, user, password, database. Here we have whole local host, user root, password blank. Actually, on, on my uh, local server, we are I am using the blank password. Also, we have a database product underscore filter and uh, uh, the table is product. Actually, we have already discussed the database is product underscore filter and table is product. So that's we are using here like product filter and products. So here we have a construct in which we have a making connection actually here we have db connect false so here we are checking if not db connect actually db connect will be true when we are connected to the mysql database so here we are checking if data connection not established then we are passing host user password to the mysql i to making connection to the mysql database here and then checking if there is connection here then we will here using the die function and displaying the error error failed to connect to the mysql and return the error message otherwise otherwise we have a db connect and set the connection so when we are connected to the database then the value of this will be true so here we are connected to a database so this will be true so now we will uh, actually connected here to the database then we have some method like getting data here making passing sql query and get the array data here we have also method like get num rows getting the number of rows here we have some other like clearing string also we are listing the categories brands sort by net all these so here we have getting category listing getting the brand getting the material and getting product size and finally getting total products and then get the product listing so all these methods are implemented here so now we'll see the functionality here how we are handling this so this is the index.php file in which we have you can see the we have a object of the product class then using product we are calling the method get categories that we have already discussed here the in product dot php class so here we have a get categories get brand get material get product size and get total products all these methods are implemented here in product dot php here like getting category here select category id category name from product table by category name actually here we are getting the all category from the product table getting the brand name so here we are getting all the brand from the product table getting the material like here you can see the material get material here so here we have a select distinct material from the product table and get the product size how many there are product and uh, get total products how many products there so here we are also getting the total total products from the product table here you can see returning the total data now we are also here including the css file style that css file then we have a container.php then we have a form you can see here the search form in which we have a categories level here in which we have uh, actually we have already had category data here getting the categories and then we are now look through the category data and listing here with the checkbox here like you can see here the checkbox like check equal check we are listing the checkbox and then we have you can see the yeah in this one you can see here we have a category id category name then we have a brand we are using the brand and look through the data and listing here 
same way sort by values are also added here then we have a material level material level this one and we are listing the material details then we have a size and listing the size like size of the product so all these things we are listing here then we have a input hidden total because actually that's not that's hidden so this is the uh, input type hidden total regards then here we are including the script.js file that we will use for filtering the data for making the ajax request so this is the structure of our index.php file now when the page is loaded here like this so all the details are loaded here like this uh, these are the records these are the section like you can say the left section like categories brands sort by materials and all these are uh, listed here in this section now the section remain is product section from where the product listing is there so actually you can see here the product listing is you will see in which section the product listing is done this is the section you can see and then we have a search form and the project listing is done in you can see in result result container actually here a, a div id results so that all content is displaying here in results so now we will see the results section you can see here this is a section in which we have id results so all the products are coming here in result container so now we will go to the js file actually these functionality are handling from the js file actually here you can see we are using a jquery so here we have a ready and waiting for the dom load then we are getting the get checkbox values actually we have already used the checkboxes here these are the checkboxes for filtering data so we have already make a implemented a method here like check get checkbox so here passing the checkbox class we are getting the values of checkboxes so here passing the category we are getting the all category data passing the brand passing the brand, brand data material data size one all the selected data so here we are getting that from here you can see here so getting the check means selected data so yeah we are getting here the get check was value means we are getting the check data here so now we have getting the category brand material size total and sorting so all these values we are getting then we are making ajax request to the type post post ajax request making to the load product.php file making ajax request to the server to php file load product.php with data type json and passing the filtering data like here yeah, total regard then we have brand material size category shorting and then getting the response data and then appending that data dot product to the results actually we are setting that to the result and the listing is displayed now we will also see the load dot load product dot php here you can see here in load dot product here we are including the product dot php class making the object creating object of the product then we are calling the get product method and then we are passing this product to the array product data array and then return a json encode so now actually we are returning the json data and json data is here come for as a response and set to the result append to the result but here we are getting the get products method so now we'll see the get product method here 
the get product method is here this is the get product actually this is the main method that's handling all the filtering functionality here actually so in which we are getting a totally cost so and also here we are creating a scale query select from product table we have quantity not equal to actually here based on the value filter value like we are checking here category brand material size sorting all these we are checking and then creating the sql query here and then finally pass the sql query to, to the get data getting the get numbers and then we are loop through to to the products actually getting the product we have a array and loop through that product and creating the html based on the result based on the filter result we are creating the html and finally returning that html so that html come here and then we set that as a json data and display here display here so when the page is load then there is nothing checked so it will load the all data related to the categories brand sort by material size but when when we select any filter item like we have select this then data is filtered so how it is working how it is working like we are selecting this or selecting this so how it will be. so when we select this we are handling this on the change actually when anything we select we are submitting the actually form search form actually we have a, already a search form like you can see here we have a search form this is this one so when we select anything we are submitting the so form using the jquery and returning the false and then we are getting the values actually if any input checked like you can see here the so we are getting the value that like you can see here the get checkbox will be called here like suppose when we have the form is submitted you can see here the we have select the form is submitted so form submitted means form loaded you can see the form loaded and when the form loaded those checked values get y is ready and then a check request is made and get the data also we we have a method if we have more record like window dot scroll then if we scroll high height we are checking here scroll height and document height if total records less than total data then we are displaying the loader image and then making a jack required to load the data so if there is a much record then when we scroll this the data will be loaded here on the scroll so guys this is the functionality this is the code that we have implemented for filtering the product data here so it's a very important very interesting project you have already seen in e-commerce website so you can implement this in your project and enhance this and use as per your needs so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video. so don't forget to like and share this tutorial and also subscribe our channel thank you